Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is different from my usual videos and the reason for that is because this video is all about how to be a better public speaker. And the reason why I'm making these videos is because number one, someone asked me to do it, si Jazz, who was one of my former students. Na ngayon kasi ang position niya is project manager. So part of her duty is speaking to many people, speaking in public and doing those things. So nag-ask siya. She was uh, humble enough and gracious enough to ask for my help. So this is my way of answering your question. So thank you for sending that in, Jazz. Another reason why I'm making this video is because a lot of you already passed the civil service exam. And so I'm finding ways on how to better help your chances when it comes to finding a job or getting promoted. So, nag-change na rin tayo, not just from yung test-taking skills, but life skills. And I hope that you enjoy this. So, if you really find these types of videos helpful, comment below. Let me know na you like it or para alam ko na I can um, parang devote more time doing this. Kasi if you don't want it, then I, maybe I shouldn't do it. Now, the thing that I'm going to teach right now are the four things that uh, I believe can help you be a better public speaker. Now, this is something that I, I've been working on and I've already shared this actually uh, one one time before in the past. Um, sa isang workshop setting. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Workshop setting, ibig sabihin matagal yung discussion and may mga activities. And uh, I'm actually, kaya nga, dahil nga sinabi nga ni Justo, pala napaisip ako, gagawa kaya ako ng workshop or ng seminar on this kasi baka makatulong din for for people like you. So let me know then if you're interested sa ganun para I'll see if I can have that plan. So how can you be a better public speaker? These are my four tips. Okay? My four rules which I try to live by then whenever I get the opportunity to speak. Uh, number one, the best speakers think best. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Um, most of the people, kasi ang kaakala nila, yung mga public speakers just get the mic and then say whatever they want. And I get that a lot then. People would say, ma'am, yung mga videos that you make, especially yung mga Sunday motivation videos, hindi, nakikita po na ano, walang cut. So, ibig sabihin po ba nun, um, tuloy-tuloy mo lang siya sinasabi. And true, it's, it really is true. Wala akong script or anything like that. However, okay, hindi ibig sabihin nun na hindi ako prepared before I prop my my camera up and start speaking. Ang ibig sabihin lang nun, even before I sat here to try to speak, meron na akong um, parang track plan, meron na akong plano kung ano yung sasabihin ko. And I just um, help bolster those thoughts. So, the best speakers think best. Meron kang masasabi kung meron kang iniisip. And that is one of the reasons why uh, a lot of the great speakers that I know are actually introverts. Now, I'm not, a, I don't consider myself as a great speaker, but I'm, I'm trying my best, alright, to be a, at least a good one. And I, I myself is also an introvert. Sobrang extreme nga na introvert na, to the point, the point na, if I were to be given a chance, I would just stay in my room. And with my dog, with my sisters, hanggang, yun na yung mundo ko, okay na ako doon. But, God has placed me in a position na malaking part ng buhay ko is interacting with many people and speaking in public, speaking to many, many people and crowds, bigger crowds. Um, I've had the, pri the privilege to speak and share my story to hundreds of, maybe 500 people sometimes at a time. And um, people ask me all the time, paano mo yun nagagawa if you're an introvert? Now, here's my uh, response, okay? I think one of the things that makes introverts effective sa pag-speak publicly is because we spend a lot of time by ourselves, with ourselves, thinking. Because the best thinkers make the best speakers. Kasi dahil kami ay nag-iisip, usually, and lagi before we even open our mouths, ibig sabihin nun, by the time that we say something, we've already thought about it. Maybe not just once, maraming beses na. And I'm guilty of that. I always do that. Even yung pag-order lang sa mga fast food like McDonald's, um, ayoko yung pag... <laughs> Nakakatawa ito yung kwenta na ito. Ayoko yung pumupunta sa McDonald's or sa Jollibee or anything like that. Tapos makikita mo yung counter walang tao. Medyo kinakabahan ako pag ganun. Kasi hindi ako ready na yung pagpupunta ako sa counter, tapos doon pala ako mag-iisip ko ano yung sasabihin ko. Gusto ko na may pila para makikita ko muna kung ano yung ordering ko, papractisin ko sa utak ko kung ano yung sasabihin ko before I even get to the counter para sabihin ko na C2 po, tapos uh, pineapple juice, extra rice. Yung ganun. Ganun yung problema. And again, that thing, that skill that introverts have, okay, or develop 
throughout their lives is something na helpful pagdating sa public speaking. Kasi before we even say thing, things, we've already thought about it once, twice, thrice. And na-edit na namin yon. Yung version that you hear, usually na-edit na sa utak pa lang. So maybe that is something that you can think of even if you're not an introvert. Something that you can try to do when you speak, lalo na in public. Think before you speak. I tell my students this, the, na ang wisdom, okay, wisdom lies in the space between thinking and doing. Yung gap na yon. So kung walang gap yung thinking at saka doing mo, then you are not wise. Kasi ibig sabihin nun, kung ano lang maisip mo sinasabi mo. And usually doon nangyayari yung mistakes. Kaya kasi nakikita mo yan sa maraming tao na nagsispeak. Yung nagbiro sila, tapos pagkasabi nila ng biro, doon lang nila may realize na mali pala yung sinabi nila. Or offensive pala yung sinabi nila. Or hindi totoo. And ang hirap na bawiin. So minsan pinapangatawanan na lang, ganun. So that is not a good way to speak. Think before you speak. Again, the best speakers are the best thinkers. So, ano yung mga iniisip mo? Think well. Alright? Number two, the message is more important than the messenger. The message matters more than the messenger. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Yung message or yung gusto mong sabihin, it means more or it matters more than you, than me, than ako yung nagsasabi. Kasi a lot of people also have a hard time speaking kasi they think of themselves more than the message. And one thing in my life na na-realize ko is that even though, kunyari sabihin na natin, mahiyain ako, or even though I'm, I'm bulol, I'm very bulol, as you would notice if you've been watching my videos, um, that thing, that um, thing that hinders me from, alam nyo yun, being confident in myself, that is not as important as the thing that I'm saying. So, kahit bulol ako at kahit mahihayain ako or kahit na bagong gising ako lagi at hindi ako marunong maggumawa ng makeup ko, those are the things that will not hinder me from saying the message or teaching you guys or doing this in front of a video uh, video camera sa kwarto ko kahit I look weird. Kasi I think, I, I started to believe that the message is more important than me. So it doesn't matter if I look dumb or I make mistakes as long as the message is there. As long as the message is something na na i-communicate ko sa inyo. So, if you are someone who thinks na, ay, hindi kasi ako ayoko magsalita or hindi ako para dyan kasi nahihiya kayo sa, sa kakakayanan ninyo or feeling mo hindi mo kaya or maka mapahiya ka. Understand this. The message means more than the messenger. So, if your message, if you have something to say and it's very important, go ahead and say it. Okay? Kasi mas mahalaga na marinig yan ng tao. Alright? Number three, say what you believe and people will believe what you say. Okay? Say what you believe and they will believe what you say. Anong ibig sabihin nun? One of the things that I have a hard time with teaching are things that I don't believe. Okay? Or saying are the things that I don't believe. Not just here sa civil service review, not just sa mga bagay na ginagawa ko, but even in the motivational videos. Even when I speak um, sa mga churches or sa mga youth groups or sa gatherings like that. If I don't believe what I'm saying, if it is not true for my life, then I will have a hard time explaining it kung hindi ko siya naranasan. Kaya nga, the things that I am confident about saying or teaching you guys are things na naranasan ko na sa sarili ko. When I say that God has been good to me, that is because God has been good to me. When I say that I'm doing this by His grace, that is exactly what I mean. Kasi if binobola ko lang kayo or niloloko ko lang kayo, then yung message ko, and kahit ako mismo, hindi ko mapapaniwala yung sarili ko na totoo yung sinasabi ko. At dahil hindi ako naniniwala, hindi ka rin maniniwala sa akin. Okay? You know how some people are really bad at pranking people? Um, and I think I'm one of those people. Even when I was a kid, alam nyo yun, yung hindi I was never a good liar. Uh, lalo na pagharapan. Never. I was never a good liar. And that is one of the reasons why I try my best na whenever I say things, uh, lalo na in public, na it's really true for my life. Na I would always just say the things that I believe in. Kasi, if you force me to teach something na hindi ako naniniwala, hindi ko rin naman makoconvince yung mga makikinig sa akin. Sayang lang yung oras namin lahat. So again, say what you believe and people will believe what you say. So ano ba talaga yung pinaniniwalaan mo? Naniniwala ka ba talaga sa sinasabi mo? Kasi alam nyo, ang mga best salespeople are the ones who really believe in their product. Uh, the best teachers are the ones who really believe that they're, what they're teaching is important. Kasi kung sinasabi nyo lang yan dahil para lang masabi nyo siya or dahil kailangan mo siya sabihin, then hindi sila maniniwala sa'yo. Uh, have you ever experienced yung pumasok kayo sa isang restaurant or 
naglalakad kayo, tapos tinatawag kayo ng mga tao na pumasok sa restaurant nila. Pero you would see sa eyes nila kung talagang masarap yung pagkain. Alam niyo yun? May mga tao kasi na yung pag sinabi nila, nandito na lang po kayo sa amin, nakikita mo na sinasabi niya lang yung dahil trabaho niya yun. Pero hindi dahil nasasarapan talaga siya. Pero makukuminsi kayo ng tao pag sinabi niya na, opo, ako po, talaga paborito ko nga ito eh. Mabibili mo rin yung product na yun kasi ginagamit niya. So that is the same thing when it comes to public speaking. Say what you believe, they will believe what you say. Number four, last tip ko sa inyo is to listen to your listeners. Ano yung sabihin nun? Okay? Uh, above all of these things and um, one thing na very important, especially when you're actually speaking, is to listen to your listeners. Kasi, number one, before you even con uh, uh, make your message, make sure that you know who your audience is. Sino ang kausapin nyo? Kasi you can say the same message multiple times, multiple ways. Depende sa kung sino ang nakikinig. For example, when I teach math, for example, sa grade school, the way that I teach it is different from the way that I teach adults. Every time, even though I'm teaching the same concept, I have to adjust. Depende sa kung sino ang kausap ko. So you have to say, you have to speak in their language. Kung kunyari, comfortable sila sa Tagalog, then I have to speak in Filipino. If comfortable sila sa English, then I have to speak in English. So you have to be flexible that way. Kasi nga, again, the message means more than the messenger. So yung message nyo, find the best way to get your message across, to make your point. So I have to listen to your listeners. Ano yung kailangan nila? Ano yung language nila? Ano yung mga jokes that they will find funny? Ano yung mag-grab ng interest nila? Which is actually one of the reasons why when I teach sa civil service or even sa upcat review, I use a lot of hugot lines or mga love life related jokes. The reason for that is kasi that keeps people interested. So again, that's something that you have to think about. Another thing, listen to your listeners while you are speaking. You will see naman, be, be active. Notice, gising pa ba sila? Okay, nakikinig pa ba sila? Tumatawa pa ba sila? And if they're not, then you have to make adjustments sa iyong speech. Uh, I have a few, ano ba, meron akong mga backup usually sa, as I write my messages or as I think of my messages, na mga hugot na, Iniisip ko yun, may isisingit ko pa ba siya? Pero hindi ko siya pinipilit isingit if, if gising pa naman sila kasi I can use that time for other things. You, you also cannot just insert jokes whenever you want kasi masisira yung mood. So you have to see, nasaan na sila? Ready na ba sila? Especially when it comes to motivational messages or when I speak in churches or anything like that. You have to sense then, you have to ask uh, the Holy Spirit to help you sense kung nasaan na yung mga tao. Kasi kung, if you're speaking kahit 5 minutes pa lang pero ready ready na sila, and yun, you can deliver the blow na right away. You can say the mabibigat na mga bagay na. Pero some audiences naman, wala pa yung attention nila. So you have to get their attention before you say yung mga important things. And I do that then when I teach the review class. May mga estudyante ako na yung pagpasok ko pa lang ng kwarto, ready na sila to learn. So that means okay na. Kahit hindi na masyadong mahaba yung motivation. Minsan naman, uh, pagpasok ko sa isang kwarto, inaantok pa sila or wala pa sila sa mood or inisip pa nila yung trabaho nila. Usually, pag, uh, when I do in-house training sa mga government agencies, ganun. Pagpasok ko, parang hindi sila pa ready or excited matuto. And when that happens, I have to make adjustments. I have to listen to them. I have to convince them a little bit. Maybe motivate them before I even start teaching. Kasi kung magtuturo ako agad, hindi, ko, hindi nila maiintindihan yung sasabihin ko. So again, those are just some of the things that can be helpful to you, Jazz, and to everyone else who uh, wants to learn how to better speak in public. And again, if you want more of these, reach out to me directly. Request lang kayo for uh, personal tips, advice, or career advice. Narin, ihalo na rin natin. Ihiwalay natin siya. Punta kayo dun sa www.facebook.com slash atelaykamaravilla. Those are for the self-help, motivational uh, tips, everything like that. For actual civil service exam tips, or UPCAT, or LET, or aptitude test, okay? Uh, videos, you can go to www.facebook.com slash Team Laika. So Jazz, sana nakatulong and for the rest of you who are in that or field or gusto nyo mag-start na mag-speak in public, maybe that is something that you can consider as well. So thank you guys. Like the video if you found this helpful. Share it with your friends kung tingin nyo makakatulong din dito sa kanila. As usual, subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon to find out as soon as you new video posts. And feel free to comment down below, request or um, uh, tell me what are the things that you want to learn next. Alright? Thank you guys for watching. Aja Aja. God bless. Kaya niyan. See you on my next video. Bye for now.